Getting stronger on barbell back squats is one of the most effective ways to go about developing your legs. But it's common for people to struggle with squatting deep enough. This could be limiting your leg muscle growth. So in today's video, I will discuss three science-based tips you can use to improve your squatting depth. Most of these tips can be directly applied in your next leg workout. But before we dive into how you can squat deeper, let's look into how deep you should squat in the first place to get the most out of a barbell back squat. Because the thing is, everyone's squat will look different based on your biomechanics. Individuals with longer legs may have to lean forward more to reach squat depth, while individuals with shorter legs and a bigger torso can more easily remain upright during squats. Both of these squats are proper form and allow you to hit good depth. Now, exactly how deep you should squat will depend on your anatomical structure. But for most people, a good aim is to squat down to the point that the top of your knee is level with your hip crease. In this position, the quadriceps and glute muscles are stretched well. For most people, this is also a realistic squat depth to attain. So if you're not able to bring your hips to the level of your knees or slightly below yet, then today's video will be helpful. Now, the first step about squatting deeper is making sure you have a good warm-up routine. If you have been sitting behind a desk the entire day and then you just go straight into a squat, you will probably feel quite stiff and won't be able to hit depth. A warm-up is always important if you head into a challenging workout but it becomes even more important if you go into doing heavy barbell back squats. There are two main types of warm-up stretches we can look into before doing a barbell back squat. First, we have static stretching, which refers to lengthening a muscle and then holding that position. Secondly, we have dynamic stretching, which refers to stretching a muscle through dynamic movement. We want to mostly avoid doing long static stretches before training because this tends to impair your performance. In a 2017 study, the participants gained less muscle in their legs when they performed static stretching before training. This was directly linked to the fact that static stretching before lifting weight impairs performance. Whenever you train a muscle, it goes through something known as a stretch reflex. When you stretch a muscle under weight, the muscle wants to shoot back into its regular position. This stretch reflex is less powerful if you perform static stretching before training because static stretching is known to lengthen your muscles. With dynamic stretches, on the other hand, you still get the benefit of improving range of motion in your legs without negatively impacting performance. Performing dynamic stretches like leg swings helps prepare your legs for producing high amounts of force in training. So before squatting, I like to focus on three specific dynamic stretches. Leg swings to the front, leg swings to the side, and doing deep split squats. If you perform one set of each exercise for 10 reps, and then perform two to three squat warm-up sets to build your squat working weight, your lower body muscles will feel a lot more mobile and you will be able to squat deeper. Now, if you perform a good squat warm-up routine and you still notice that it's difficult for you to hit proper squatting depth, then we need to look into your ankle mobility. Based on research, immobile ankles is a common reason people are not able to squat deep. If you have immobile ankles, it's hard for your shins to move forward during a squat without your heels elevating. Limited ankle mobility often results in the back having to round to reach proper squatting depth. The first and easiest solution to work around limited ankle mobility is to elevate your heels during the squat. When the heels are elevated, your ankles do not have to stretch as much and you can reach squatting depth more easily. The heels can be elevated by using squat blocks, squatting on small plates, or even using weightlifting shoes. Ideally, we use these squat elevation tools as temporary solutions for squatting deeper while you work on improving your underlying ankle mobility. We know from research that if you stretch a joint several times per week for 15 to 30 seconds, this results in improvement in range of motion. So next to elevating the heels, it's also recommended to perform some static stretching for the ankles to make sure that your long-term ankle mobility improves. Performing something like an ankle wall stretch three to four times per week is a good option in this case. In tip number one, I discussed how it's recommended to avoid static stretching before doing squats. It's worth mentioning that this applies to your upper leg muscles, like the quadriceps, glutes, and hamstrings. But when it comes to the calves or ankles, it's totally fine to stretch these before training. With an ankle wall stretch, we mostly stretch your calf muscles and the Achilles heel. While the calves do act as a stabilizer during your squat, the calves are not highly active during the squat movement itself. So you can perform static calf stretches before doing squats without negatively impacting your squat performance. If you have a good warm-up routine and also mobilize your ankles before squatting, but still you're not able to reach proper squatting depth yet, then the third tip is to experiment with a wider stance squat. Based on the 2018 study, a wider squat stance helps most people improve their squatting depth. 
This is because with a wider squat stance, you rely less on ankle mobility and more on the mobility of your adductors. Also, there is some muscle activation research to suggest that having a wider squatting stance helps activate the glute muscles more. So if developing the glutes is one of your main goals, a wider squat stance gives you an extra training benefit. Now a quick summary on how to improve your squatting depth. First, make sure to have a proper warm-up routine focused on performing dynamic stretches like leg swings and deep split squats. This will help you mobilize your lower body for a deep squat. If after a good warm-up you still cannot squat deep enough, consider squatting on heel elevations to work around limited ankle mobility. If you do use heel elevations, make sure to also stretch your ankles 3-4 to four times per week to help you improve underlying ankle mobility. And lastly, you can also experiment with a wider squat stance to improve your squatting depth as an alternative strategy to elevating your heels. Before ending this video, I also want to mention that for building muscle, there is no must-do leg exercise. Yes, the squat is highly effective for building your legs, but it is not the only effective leg exercise out there. If for some reason doing heavy barbell back squats does not suit you well, you can look into alternative movements like the Bulgarian split squat or machine leg press. There is research showing that these movements stimulate your quadriceps to a similar extent as the back squat. Sure, the barbell back squat is arguably more functional than a leg press if we view it from a sports performance perspective, but we are strictly speaking muscle growth here. You can even experiment with movements like box squats and goblet squats if traditional back squat technique is a challenge at the moment. So don't feel limited in your training if you're currently struggling with the barbell back squat form. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have some practical tips on how you can improve your squatting depth. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video.